The MHRA, uh, led by June Rain, have been uh, looking at this uh, all the time. They have always made sure that they look at all incidents with all the vaccines that uh, will be deployed. We're currently deploying at scale Pfizer and, of course, the Oxford AstraZeneca. And they've been very clear that the benefits of the vaccine far outweigh any uh, of these rare incidents uh, of risk. And if you get the call to take your vaccine, but of course we will be guided by the MHRA, by the Joint Committee on Vaccination and Immunization, as they continue to look at these very rare incidents. Uh, and I think that's only right. And of course, just as a sort of reminder to your viewers, the MHRA is independent of government and they publish through the yellow card system all incidents as they did last week, as they're going to do again. So that's important. Uh, we've led the largest and probably one of the most successful vaccination programs in the world. The confidence in that vaccination program is because we have such a robust regulatory framework in the United Kingdom. I think that's important to remember as well. And, and June Rain last night uh, made it very clear that if you get your uh, invitation, please come forward. Between December, Stephen, and the end of February, the vaccination programme has saved 6,300 people over 70 from dying. So that puts it in perspective. The regulator uh, continues, as does the European regulator and the WHO, to recommend that the AstraZeneca Oxford vaccine be given to all uh, ages over 18. They continue to obviously monitor and look very carefully at these very rare cases of blood clotting. Um, again, Another perspective on this, we've done almost 20 million uh, vaccinations using the Oxford AstraZeneca uh, uh, vaccine. Uh, and they make sure that they, they look at each and every adverse incident that occurs.